In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make a simple wind tunnel. Wind is actually an applied entity called trigger push. When the player steps into the trigger brush, the player will be pushed towards a certain direction. Here we have two simple rooms made out of hollow cubes that are connected by two tunnels. We will make it so that one tunnel will have wind pushing one way, and the other tunnel will have wind pushing the other way. First we add the trigger brush. This brush will have to cover most of the empty area in our first tunnel. We resize it and place it into position. While the brush is selected, we right click, go to apply entity, go to trigger, and select push. We can specify the speed of the wind and the direction the wind will blow. Here the angle field is similar to that of a door and accepted values are 0 through 360 where 90 is north, 180 is west, 270 is south, 360 is east, negative 1 is up, and negative 2 is down. Here the value 0 has a special meaning. If 0 is used, the trigger push entity will not push the player in any particular direction, but it will instead try to counteract any movements the player makes and slow down the player. We will use the value 180 for this trigger push entity. We then duplicate the entity and place it inside the other tunnel. We change the angle value to 360 so the wind will blow in the opposite direction. 